Mandy and I welcome you back to Walking with Jesus for March 12th. Root and fruit. Let's look at Galatians 5, 22 to 23. I love Galatians 5, 22. It's the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Root and fruit. Every gardener knows two things. The fruit depends on the root. And fruit happens naturally. Fruit cannot be willed to appear. Root refers to the kind of plant it is. Tomato, squash, bean, or other plant. Plants naturally produce their own kind of fruit, not the fruit of a different plant. And healthy plants naturally produce their fruit. It cannot be forced to appear. In spiritual terms, the New Testament speaks of both root and fruit. In Colossians 2.27, Paul wrote that we are rooted and built up in Christ. In other words, we are in Christ, born again, to become different things than we were before. In plant terms, whatever fruit Christ produced in his life, we should reproduce in our life. Oh, that's good. Let's back that up and read that again. In plant terms, whatever fruit Christ produced in his life, we should reproduce in our life. Paul also wrote of that fruit, calling it the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5, 22-23. That fruit cannot be willed into existence by us. It is the result of the Spirit living in us. If we want to manifest love, joy, peace, and other attributes of Christ, you must be rooted in Him by faith. From the root comes the supernatural fruit. Make it a priority to demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit to others today. I really enjoyed that, didn't you? And it is kind of silly to think that if we don't have our roots deep, that we're going to be really strong. I mean, there's no way that's going to work, my friends. So that's why we have to be doing daily Bible study and praying and going to church and being part of a small group. All of those things help your roots go really, really deep. But the most important of all of those is reading God's Word. And also, like Dr. David Jeremiah was saying, you can't expect you know, an orange tree to produce grapefruit or an apple tree to give you oranges. And it's true too, that whatever kind of plant you are, that's what you're going to produce. So if you're always hanging out in the church, you're going to produce good fruit, but you can't expect to have really good fruit if you're hanging out with bad people or doing the wrong things or things like that. So it is important to be knowing where your roots are going down into, because whatever nutrients you're going down into, that's what you're going to be producing. So I hope you can learn that by Bible verse from Galatians. It's such a great verse. It's a good one that we should all have in our hearts. And I hope today that you can be producing all kinds of that fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, all those wonderful things. It takes a little bit of work to do, but if you keep hanging out with God and reading his word, that fruit will be coming out of you as well. So have a great day sharing your fruit with everyone around you. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. And you can order your own copy of Walking with Jesus by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or by calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would love to answer any question that you may have about faith in Jesus. Let's get stronger this year in 2024. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day growing your faith in Jesus.